Ross Overstreet with FLIR Systems and today I want to talk about getting started with the high-end science grade IR cameras. Today we have an SC6700 which is made by our FLIR Advanced Thermal Systems Group in Niceville, Florida. So we open the case, get the camera, next we have a power supply, we'll have an optic, Typically, we'll also have a set of extender rings and an Ethernet cable. This is everything we'll need to get started. So now that we have everything unpacked, let's take a closer look at the camera. To remove the lens cover, just twist and pull. It comes out as a bayonet mount. The first thing you'll notice is a built-in four-position filter wheel. One of the really unique things about this camera is the filters are field replaceable. Just simply rotate it with your finger to the filter's in position, press up on the release, and the filter comes out. If you take a look at the back of the filter, you'll notice there's a barcode on there, an optical barcode, that the camera can use to identify the filter. We have positions in memory for 64 different filters, and we have about 20 of these on the shelf. These can be neutral density filters to allow us to look at warmer objects, or they can be spectral filters for doing subspectral work. To reinsert, simply stick it back in, and it snaps into place. So while we're talking about the front of the camera, let's discuss optics a bit more. FLIR has a wide range of optics available for this camera, from microscopes all the way to telescopes. But the package typically ships with either a 50mm or 25mm lens. Another really nice thing about the SC6700 Examiner Max package is that it comes with extender rings. Extender rings can be used to screw into the back of the optic and give us some zoom capability. We like to refer to it as poor man's microscope because it allows us to do close-up work without purchasing expensive microscope optics. The way extender rings work is you unscrew them. You get a stack of them with four different rings, a quarter inch, half inch, three quarter, and one inch. So you unscrew an extender ring. You thread it into the back of the optic. If you look at the back of the optic, you'll notice some threads around the inside diameter. Want to make sure it's relatively tight, and then just insert the optic back into the camera. You'll notice that your minimum focus is moved a lot closer to the front of the lens, and you now have more zoom than you had with just the default lens. You can continue to add extender rings to get additional levels of zoom. Uh, we have some data that we can share with you that shows the magnification factor for the various length extender rings. If we take a look at the back of the camera, the main connections are the 24 VDC power in and the gigabit ethernet connection right here. This has a protective cap on it. Uh, some of the other connections that we have on the back of the camera are camera link, trigger in, sync in, composite video out, gen lock in, sync out, and iRig B. iRig is a common uh, time stamping protocol used extensively by the military test range. For general operation, we'll only cable power in and Ethernet out. If you're doing high speed work, we'll use camera link out as well as Ethernet to ensure that we can capture every single frame with guaranteed zero dropped frames. So let's cable up and get our first image. So we'll apply power, and we'll apply Ethernet. And now we power on the camera. And at this point, we have to wait a few minutes while the PC assigns an IP address to the camera. Okay, the pop up dialog box says local area connection. This connection has limited or no connectivity. This is just a sign that it's now communicating with the camera instead of the internet that it expects. At this point, you can close the window and launch Examiner software. So here we see examiner launch. The first thing that it does is go out and scan for any attached devices. In this case we see a virtual camera uh, that's in here for some of the products that we sell from our ATSF division and we'll see uh, our first image appear. So 
So at this point, we have a great image. So for the next part in the series, please see the Examiner Max Getting Started video. Thank you. For further information, please contact FLIR Systems 